Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'm going to show you Fluid Framework in Microsoft 365. This powerful framework is an open source project available on GitHub and allows you to minimize waste of time when you collaborate on the same content with other colleagues. In fact, Fluid Framework offers a set of components that you can add in Teams, Outlook, SharePoint, and in other apps available in Microsoft 365. I'll show you in this video how you can add a Fluid component in Teams chat or in a channel conversation and collaborate at the same time and in real time with your colleagues. Probably we will see in the future this framework evolving in the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. Okay, let's go and I show you every step. Here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft Teams open. Here I am connected as Adele Events. Now Microsoft is rolling out Fluid Framework in Microsoft Teams. That means that we can add live component in Teams chat currently. Probably in the future there will be more use cases. But let's start now to create a new chat by clicking here on the icon and then let me start to add some colleague. I will add Giuliano and then I will add Lydia Holloway. We have to chat and discuss about the content of our next webinar. Okay, all good. Now I can click below in the conversation and I'm ready to add a first live component. You will notice here that there is a new icon available, insert live component. I'm going to click and here I have a bunch of components that I can add. I can add a balleted list, checklist, number list, paragraph, table and task list. Ok, let's start to add a table. Here it's cool, when I go over the table name, I have here another panel that show up and here allows me to determine how many columns and rows I want to have for this table. Let's see that I will start with 3, 4, 4 and here we go. Now I have this live component dropped in the conversation area. Here I can assign a title for this table. I can say webinar content. Then another important option here is the ability to restrict or allow the ability to work together on this live component. If I click on the drop down here, I can specify that people in your organization with the link can collaborate all together in this live component, or I can restrict the usage by selecting people currently in this chat. And this is exactly the, the option that I want to set. Down below, I have additional options like allow editing or not. Let me apply this. Here we go. Now I'm sure that only me, Giuliano and Lydia are allowed to collaborate together on this live component. Here I am connected as a Dell Events. Here I can discard this live component if I made some mistake. Now to start a collaboration on this live component with my colleagues, I have to send this component in the chat. Let me click on it. And here we go. Now I have this component dropped in the chat. So this is the title, webinar content, and it is also the title of my table. Here I can see that I am connected and I am editing this live component. Here I can see who can access. So I can review my permission for this live component. Then I can even copy this link and I can share this link with other colleagues. Here we go, now I have three different perspectives. On the right I have Lydia Holloway connected using the browser, with the web version of Teams, and I am on the chat Adele and Giuliano. I can see that Adele is editing the title of this table. Now, here below I have the smartphone, I have my Android device, 
and I'm going to open the chat. Here I am logged as Giuliano, as you can see here, and I'm going to open this chat. Here we go. I can see that Adele Vance has posted a live component. Let me tap on it. This will open Office and this app will open this component. Now, here we go. I am I'm trying to editing now here the first the first cell. I want to type here, for example, content. And now, as you can see, the live component is synchronized in every perspective. It's synchronized in a desktop version of Teams and in the web version where I am connected as Lydia Holloway. Now let's edit another, another cell here. I will type, for example, how to plan good governance. Here we go. How to plan good governance. And as you can see, the content is immediately synchronized. Now, let me click here as a Lydia Holloway. I'm going to change some content on this cell. And here I'm going to type slides. So now, in order to prepare properly the webinar, I want to define how many slides we should include and reserve for this particular topic. I would say three slides, it's okay. Then I have the content immediately updated here on the smartphone and here on the desktop version. So it's pretty cool. This live component is synchronized immediately and you can work in real time by adding content and you can prepare very great meeting or webinar. Now here again, I can add the, the third element on this table. I can say, for example, time. And here I will add five, 15 minutes. And here we go, the content is immediately updated in every perspective. For every user, the content is updated. Now let me go on again. And here I can add additional component. Then, for example, I can add a task list. This will generate now a simple task list with three columns. And on the title, I can say, for example, normal task list. And here I can define tasks, assign it to, I can define the date when hypothetically this should be completed and more. So I can even add a bulk list or a paragraph component where we have to write some documentation, for example. So there are many use cases, and this is a first rolling out of this capability that allows you to work simultaneously on the same content, co-authoring the same content. The last thing that I want to call out here is that the creator of the live component, Adele Events in this case, will create a file in OneDrive. So I have here a tab open with OneDrive. If I open the folder Microsoft Teams chat files, I can see that webinar content.fluid has been generated by Adele Events, which is exactly the same person who has added the live component in the chat in Microsoft Teams. Now, I have even the option to open this file directly from here, from OneDrive. This will open a tab, it will open office.com, and now directly from here, I can still work on this content. I can edit and add content in every cell of this table. I can even remove some column, for example, or I can add a new one. And my colleagues will see exactly in real time all changes that I'm doing here. It's up to you how you prefer to work on this page in office.com or in the chat in Microsoft Teams. All right, we have seen in this video how to use Fluid Framework in Microsoft 365. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like and consider to subscribe to stay tuned with my next videos. 
I hope to see you next time. Bye.